Hi everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Blue Monkey Studios. Today I'm going to be working on this Freddy Krueger TV scene piece. I'm doing this for a friend of mine at work. She is a huge horror fan, and uh, I like to tease her about her fandom because she's always wearing these shirts with all the big time horror characters, Freddy, Jason, uh, Michael Myers, etc. And I always tease her because she had, I was like, I know what your type is, and it's uh, the white serial killer. So anyway, probably seen me working on this in the past, getting all the inking done. I've done short little videos on my Instagram. You can go to Balloon82. That's B-U-L-U-N-8-2. And you can see some of the videos there. So I have started to watercolor, and it's funny because... This paper is not watercolor paper. It's, yeah, I'm an idiot, but I didn't want to color it. I thought, I don't know what I thought, really. Watercolor is all I have. I got rid of my markers. I gave it to a friend of mine who really uses them a lot, and I didn't use them all that much, mainly because a lot of the ink I used, the Copics would, would bleed them. So I've just started going back to watercolor. So in this part right here, I am working on the lettering on the TV screen. It says, Welcome to Prime Time. And uh, the thing about non-watercolor paper is it's going to wrinkle. So I'm actually going to do this piece in sections and take my time with it. So it's going to take a lot longer. Basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm painting on red to, to emulate blood. This is the first layer. It's not going to be what it's eventually going to look like. Hopefully should look a lot better. Uh, as I'm going over this, I I have pencils down. I'm pretty sure you can see them. And while I am staying within the lines, I'm not. Here and there I'm going to embellish. I'm going to exaggerate sections to make it more profound. It's just kind of the idea of, you know, growing up when you're a little kid, teachers always tell you to color in between the lines. And you know what? As an adult, I can ignore that rule and make what I want to make. That's the joy of art. You can, you can go areas and places that, while there are rules in art, you can disobey them to make something you want. So I don't know what happened, but I think my camera battery died on me and I didn't realize it. So I had finished out Welcome to Prime Time with that first layer of red. Decided I wanted to do, you know, more horror blood color. So I'm just adding some new red to this palette, wetting it down, and uh, I'm going to start developing the shade of red I want. And actually that circular red down at the bottom right hand corner you can't really tell but that's that's actually magenta and it's a very pinkish red magenta is what is used in graphic design a lot so if you see cmyk the m it's cmyk is magenta and i didn't want to use magenta so i've taken this red i wanted and i start mixing in some purple to get it darkened up now on the screen it looks pretty good but i need to test it and so once I get my mixture, I'll actually test it on a sheet of paper. So I'm mixing in a little bit of brown to kind of give it that old feeling to it. And there I go, test it. It's not exactly what I want. It's still a little purplish. So I'm going to add some more brown to it. I'm actually starting to get nervous because like I said, too much brown. Mix it a little bit more. And I got these little bits of dried watercolor. Wet those down and blend them in. Still Still, it's okay, it's still a little purple. So because of that, I kind of decided, well, let's put some yellow in it. Orange it up a little bit. Start mixing that up. Starting to look better. Definitely starting to look like blood. There we go, starting to get there. A little bit more yellow, and I think we'll be good. I 
that's better. So that's what I'm going to go with. Clean my brush off. Off of the side, I have a jar of water. In case you didn't know. And get everything set. And I start going back over the red I've already done. It's tedious, but it's not boring. It's it's quite a... It's weird, but it's kind of soothing. Being able just to paint over this. Initially, the first pass was a little nerve-wracking, uh, especially after coming back to do the second layer, I noticed sections where, because again, this is not watercolor paper, so the watercolor, when it dried up, you can see a little bit of bleeding, and that really bugs me. But uh, I've kind of started accepting that into my style. So now I'm going over the second pass, you can tell it's starting to look a lot better. More than likely, when I do the next sections of this, I'm gonna have to touch up those reds again there's going to be some wave lines in the TV screen and undoubtedly watercolor on watercolor is going to bleed previous watercolor and so I'm probably going to have to touch up Welcome to Primetime yet again. I did this kind of backwards but Welcome to Primetime I wanted to get out of the way. It's not the most detailed part but it is for me the most nerve-wracking so I decided to get it out of the way but more than likely it's not going to get out of the way it's just going to be a bigger nuisance later. But yeah, I'll do the rest of this and move up to the face. So that's the first coloring steps for Freddy Krueger. If you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to the channel and comment. You know, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. I'm up for suggestions. I'm up for improving this, this channel to something not only I like, but you like as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.